In part one, chapter 28 of Don Quixote, Pero Perez, Cardinio, and Master Nicholas meet a young woman disguised as a boy. Dorotea is the farmer's daughter whom Don Fernando promised to marry hmm. just so he could sleep with her. She leaves her home to search for Don Fernando upon hearing of his marriage to Lucinda and learns that the letter in Lucinda's bodice said that she was already married to Cardinio. Dorotea can't find Don Fernando and decides it was better not to find Don Fernando than to find him married because she wants to uphold her vows. She hears that her family is looking for her and there are rumors about her and the boy who helped her escape. The boy tries to rape her and she throws him off a cliff to his death. Disguised as a boy, Dorotea finds work as a shepherd. Her master's unwanted advances send her into hiding. In part one, chapter 29, Cardinio tells Dorotea who he is. He's hopeful that they can both have their happy endings and be reunited with their intended spouses. Pero Perez asks both of them to come home with him and Master Nicholas so they can assist in finding Don Fernando. The barber surgeon tells Cardinio and Dorotea about Don Quixote. Dorotea is eager to help. She takes on the role of the damsel in distress and changes into clothes more befitting a princess. Master Nicholas dresses as her squire. Sancho Panza returns and is introduced to Dorotea, now Princess Mikomikona of Mikomikon in Ethiopia. Hmm, okay. Sancho Panza, eager for the Don to meet and marry the princess, takes her and her squire to meet him. Dorotea falls to Don Quixote's feet and begs him for assistance in killing the giant who is keeping her from the throne. He agrees. Hmm. Dorotea's story is about the perils of protecting one's virtue, namely virginity, in 17th century Spain. Dorotea's beauty attracts men in whom she has no interest, and these men are not willing to take no for an answer. She knows that refusing Don Fernando's pleas of marriage will end in her own rape, a direct assault on her virtue, so she agrees to marry him even though she doesn't love him. Yet when he disappears after the consummation of their hasty vows, she desperately wants him back. She would rather be married to someone she doesn't love than to be shamed by the loss of her own virtue. <laughs>